Tomorrow might be one of the most important days in Warzone history. And I've been waiting for this day for way too far. And that's because season two has finally come to an end and the long awaited season three has arrived. Warzone has obviously been in the worst state it's ever been in. Somehow worse than Vanguard. And I didn't think that was possible. So there's a lot riding on season three. I think everyone is starting to realize that the direction they took Warzone 2 in by making an entirely new game backfired like a motherfucker. After seeing a roadmap packed with a ton of new sh I mean, really, they're just adding back all the things that worked well in Warzone 1. I still couldn't be happier. So Warzone 2, it's been a good run, but I'm ready for Warzone 2.1. Oh! Hi. You gotta be fu But I think everybody should be excited for the new season coming out. I feel like even after all the good news, everyone is still skeptical, saying that the game is dead, it's too late, it's still gonna be trash. Like, what do you expect from the development companies? And I'm not gonna lie, like, Treyarch and the current developers that are working on this game, I don't know whoever the fuck is in charge, they definitely deserve a lot of that skepticism. They definitely deserve a lot of that hate. They definitely deserve to not have the community trust in them at all. Because as much as I love this game, they have proven and shown time and time and time and time and time again. They don't care what the community says. They don't care how anyone feels or what anyone thinks. They're going to do and implement the changes that they want. And we all just have to fucking suffer, I guess, even if it's horrible. Isn't this a stronghold? Why did it let me in here and there's no bots? I feel like I just got gifted this. I mean, hey, man, I'm never going to complain about free stuff. There's someone over here, though. I don't know if he's on the roof of this building, the roof of the next building or what, but someone is definitely in this area. And that means we got to get him out. Hi. Thank you! Oh my god, you are the biggest rat of all time. I was like, I know this guy is on my UAV ping somewhere. Okay, that guy's got a gunny. That guy's got a gunny, and I have to respect it. Wait, he's getting in the vehicle? No, you're not. No, you absolutely are not. Of course, man. Of course, of course, of course, of course. Some dude just sitting on the top of a fucking roof with an ISO hemlock doing absolutely nothing. He has one kill too. One kill. And then he gets smoked. I'm going to lose my mind. I'm actually going to lose my mind. But one thing that I do hope that season three brings to the table is it makes the gunfights more like how they used to be and less like what I just experienced. And I'm not even talking about the way that I died. I'm talking about all of my gunfights. Slow, crouch walk play, no audio, very tactical. Like, I'm sorry, but I don't care who you are or how good you are or how tactical you think you are at the game. Those fights are just boring. They're not fun for the player and they're not fun for the viewer. So if we could just find a way to speed things up and make it a little more exciting, I would greatly appreciate that. This ace, this HCR is kind of like, okay, please, jump! Get me in there. Holy crap. Is this guy going to push me? Probably not. No one ever pushes in this game. What am I thinking? This guy's going to think he's big and bad on the roof here. I might just kind of slide up underneath this man. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. HCR, cast off 762, some mash. But as I was saying ab about the new season update, don't expect Warzone to just go from like zero to like back on top. It's just... It's just not realistically going to happen. A lot of the community has lost their trust and lost their faith within the game, and it's going to take a while to earn that back. I think season three is making the proper and the correct changes, and they're doing the right thing from a... We are not serious, bro. We are literally... I literally should not have even played today, bro. Uh, David, are you okay? It sounds like the most scuffed mic ever coming, like, coming through his headset. Get a chance to redeploy! Oh my god, we have to fight David! Oh. 
I'm sorry, David. I was doing the entire lobby a favor by just getting you out of it. I'm going back to observatory. Ain't no way I'm letting a level 52 camper take me out of the game. I'm coming back. Wait, where the... F Please tell me that was the guy that killed us. Please tell me that was the guy that killed us before. I hope it was. I'm going to give him one Glock shot right in the face. All right, two. One for me and one for the rest of the lobby. Oh, we got a little stronghold going on here. And you didn't want to invite Mr. Dubs? It's okay. I'll just, I'll just invite myself, brother. I'll just invite myself to the party. That's a bot? That's not even a real... I should have known. I, I, you know, when it comes to Warzone 2, man, I should have known. Oh, yeah. Come to Papa. I figured, you know, how fitting could it be for the last day of Season 2 to rock the ISO? The ISO Hemlock. And uh, honestly, the ISO is probably up there for me with the TAC-56 in terms of, like, my favorite guns in the game. I just... There was so much ISO hemlock usage and so much RPK usage that I just... I just couldn't do it anymore, man. I had to use something different. I turned a Lockman into a growl. So if you want to watch that video, that's up on our channel. I've been using the STB. I brought back the TAC-56. I've just been doing whatever the hell I want, really, man. These metas, man, they just... They last way too long. But as I was saying, I think they're making the correct and necessary changes to the game in season three but i think it's gonna take all of season three plus season three reloaded for them to be consistent not going back on their word and doing everything they can to continuously creating good and positive change to the game i look like look man it, it just that unfortunately just didn't go your way i think season three is the start and I think season four is really where Warzone has an opportunity if they do the right thing and play their cards right to really earn back the trust of the community and really put this game back in a position to be a top. What the? F yeah, that just wasn't happening, Jay Willie. What are the odds that I can get this bounty contract before the zone closes in on it? Hmm. All right, Kawan. Today is your luck. All right. Well, that sucks. <laughs> what are you shooting at? Ain't no way my man is just shooting at the whip after I already got out of it. Okay. Am I drunk? Like, do I not know how to... Okay, I'm definitely not drunk, but this guy may have had a few Bud Lights before he started playing today. He's right there. Requesting close air. Target mark. Copy that. Oh! What? There's another... Nah, dude. Nah, bruh. Nah, bruh. Nah, bruh. Oh, <laughs> I think he failed to his death. I need a trophy system. Trophy system, do something. No plates, though. This is very bad. Ah! I can't wait for tomorrow. Give season three a little bit of time. They're doing the right thing. I think Infinity Ward, the development company, they're realizing where they f***ed up and they're trying to right their wrongs. But it's not all going to happen on like one, you know, it's going to take probably season three, season three reloaded. And then at the beginning of season four, I really think we'll be in very, very, very good shape. Will Warzone be back on top? Man, I have no idea. But season three is tomorrow. I'm ready to see some positivity in the comment sections for the community. I really think that this is going to be good for us. I hope you guys sleep tight because tomorrow morning, it's basically Christmas morning. Let's go! We got our money and we'll get our load out. And then we're gonna make a good YouTube video because we're gonna expose the meta with the Lockman and the P90. And I hope no one's camping this by station.